How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I'm really excited because I'm going over the five different stocks that I've had this year that have doubled. Now, some people might say, well, I don't care about what's happened in the past. Let's talk about the future, what's going to happen next. And I'll get to that because I plan on doing a video like that. But I think it's important to take a look at some stocks that have done really well this year, kind of what we were thinking. And I think there's a really important distinction towards the end. And I think it's important to watch these all the way through. I heard uh, a YouTuber say this, and I think it is very true that when we talk about different stocks like this, it's important to watch through to the end because it adds conviction, right? It adds more background. If there's a down day, it gets your head on straight to make sure that you have as much information as possible. And some of these stocks might go down soon, so you might want to know what I have to say about it. So if you guys like this, please leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Also hit subscribe if you haven't hit subscribe. There's a link down there to M1 Finance. I don't talk about M1 Finance too much, but I want to bring it up today just because they gave me an offer for a free year of M1 Plus. So if you don't know what that is, they give out a certain membership that usually is, I think, $125 a year. At least that's what it said they would renew at in a year from now, but they're giving it to me for less. You can get loans. You can get uh, a second time that you can trade throughout the day. There's some other benefits too, but I just signed up for it. It was free. If you guys want to check out M1, there's a link down below. Also, I'm just starting an affiliate relationship with BlockFi. If you want to sign up down there, there's a bonus to sign up and then they pay you up to 8.6% APY on your money there or on your cryptocurrency. So definitely check that out. And last thing, if you want Webull, there's a link down there where you can get four free stocks if you deposit $100. So let's take a look at my M1 finance portfolio here. I'm up 49% year to date. Uh, or since I started this portfolio. You can see too that I have a very large position. My number one position is in, in, is in an index fund. So that has actually brought down my average a little bit. But the first one that I wanna bring up today is Tesla. So Tesla is a company that I bought in when it was considered too late to buy in. My average cost was over $1,000 on a pre-split basis. I'd started to buy in at 800 and then 880, and then I bought more later. Uh, so far, you know, it's done really well for me. It's up 200%. And for this one, this one's a little bit different than the other ones because we did not pick this out early on. It was already a mature company. It was already a company that people were putting a lot of money into. But I saw the way that it was going and I wanted to have a position. And I realized that I could fall down a lot because it had been up to $1,000 per share, again, pre-split. So about $200 a share now. And then it had fallen to what is now $70 a share because they were at 350 or something like that during the pandemic. But I still wanted to hold on to this company. So I bought in a little bit late. I wish I had added more, but you know, you always can say that on companies that you're up so much on. The next company on this list is IIPR, which is a company that I invested in in a couple different portfolios. And I felt really strongly about this one. This is a REIT, a real estate investment trust that is in the MJ space. So they actually rent to different companies that can't get loans from the from banks. They actually will buy their facility from them and then rent it back to them. So they do something called triple net leases, which means that their, their lessees pay for everything pretty much. Uh, they pay for taxes, insurance, um, that kind of stuff. They also pay for any repairs and their average rent time is like 14 or 15 years right now. So even if everything becomes legalized, there will still be companies that are going to be with them for a long time. And they've actually been paying me dividends. So even though the company's up 170% since I bought it, they're still paying me dividends every single quarter. So I really like this one. And we're starting to see a little bit of a trend here where none of, none of these stocks today are recovery plays. None of them. None of them were like... Uh, Carnival Cruise Lines buying it at the bottom or anything like that. These are all growth companies that are in growing sectors. Now, one that I'm not going to show just because it's not easily accessible, it's in my Fidelity account, is Planet 13. I'm up 70% on it, but I was buying it when it was about a third the price it is now. So if I bought all at the beginning and not averaged up, it would be up about 200%. I don't have a huge position. I mean, it's $1,000, so... You know, whatever you think about that, or maybe it's uh, a little bit over a thousand. That one, again, growing sector, right? We're buying when it is expensive. I was considering it expensive and I was adding along the way. The next company on here, Qualcomm. 
So we were buying this at $70 a share. It's up over 100%. Not a huge position for this one, but this is a chip maker for Apple for a couple different companies, and they're in the 5G space, another growing sector. Another company that was not super inexpensive, uh, it hadn't fallen down it hadn't fallen down as much as a lot of other companies, but it was down on its luck. It's not like a growth company like the other ones, but it's not like a recovery play or anything like that. It's a company that I saw the the sector expanding, more need for this company, and we bought it, and it's up over 100%. Now, I do hold a, a decent number of companies, but a lot of these I've been adding to, like Switchback Energy, I've had for less than probably two months. Uh, some of these other companies like Teladoc, I've had for a very short amount of time, Tattooed Chef very short amount of time. So while they're not up too much, they're still up a decent amount for how long we've held on to them. Now, just looking at Weeble, this portfolio is up a lot too. If we just go over to the unrealized P and L, we can see SBE, Switchback Energy, ChargePoint. It's a company that I saw their forward projections growing and they have their forward projections ending at 2026 for their revenue. I think that they'll continue to grow at a quick rate after that. And I think that's where people weren't thinking about it. A lot of people jumped on Switchback Energy just because it's a charging stock. I got in before a lot of the other people jumped into the charging stocks. But I, I realized too, and this is in a couple portfolios. Actually, it's in three portfolios. So this is not my total position here. I actually have closer to, I believe, 3000 or so, $4,000 in it. Uh, I realized that it could go down short term. It was up a lot at the time. It was up like 60% already from the bottom, but then it pretty much 2x, 2.5x from there. And again, it's a growing sector. I'm looking at forward revenues. I've done videos on all these in the past. And again, I was willing to take the risk because I saw their forward revenue. They gained a lot of market share. They owned a lot of the market that a lot of other companies just weren't even close to. I think they own 70% of the North American market for charging stations. And again, they're going to grow so much over the coming 10 years. And then Fubo TV is the last one on this list. And this one is more recent for us. I think our first buy was just a few weeks ago. I actually saw them from another YouTuber. His name is Dead Inside. Great content. And he pointed out Fubo. I looked at it. It is growing very quickly. I believe they're projecting... 70 or 80 percent revenue next year or 50 percent something like that 50 to 80 i'm blanking off the top of my head but uh i've done videos on it recently too they're go they're growing very quickly they just bought another company and then they start to get upgrades on upgrades on upgrades from uh from some analysts they got a motley fool recommendation then some other people covered them then they jumped 100 percent within a week so why should you stay through to the end of videos? Because you might be able to pick up on something that makes you feel strongly about a stock and it might be early on, right? A lot of people might not be talking about it and then it might make you feel strongly about it and that might jump up 100%. Fubo TV is not like a sexy stock for most people. No one cared when I made my first couple of videos on it. And the thing is, it's just another streaming stock, right? But it has great growth. It has some things going for it. It's doing something that other streaming stocks aren't doing which is adding another like another line of revenue which is sports betting possibly in the future and a lot of people didn't even want to talk about it a couple weeks ago and now it's blown up 100 percent so you should definitely take a look at all these companies i plan on doing a, a video on stocks i think will do really well going forward but let me know if you'd like to see that let me know when you'd like to see that i plan on doing it here soon I just don't know if I'm going to do it today or tomorrow or the next day. So let me know if you guys want to be able to see what I'm buying and selling in real time and get on these a little bit quicker, you can check out the link to Patreon down below. Again, if you want that 8.6% APY from that cryptocurrency savings account, or it's kind of like a savings account, it's called an interest account, you can check out the link down below to BlockFi. If you want those free stocks through Webull, definitely check that out too. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. If you want to see some other videos on some stocks I've been buying recently, I'll put them right here. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.